So you had a great time in Gambia? Oh, it was amazing. Oh, the weather was so nice. And I met so many genuine, amazing people. These bluebells, they're so stubborn. There were so many mango trees in Gambia, they were oh, everywhere. And were the mangoes ripe? No, it wasn't the season, no. sadly, but they were just so beautiful. My manager at Corum told me that there's these trees near the office where we live and the bark would like, it takes in pollution. You know, we know things about trees that we didn't even know 20 years ago, oh, wow. like how much they communicate with each other. That sounds amazing. I'm, I really, I'm obsessed with trees right now. I want to add more knowledge to my obsession. Right. It'd be nice to know what trees I'm looking at instead yes. of just being like, wow. That's a nice tree. <laughs> exactly. Yes. I came to the UK when I was nine. Um, I've lived here over 10 years. I found out that I couldn't go to university and then shortly after I found out that I didn't even have status. It doesn't matter how long you've lived in this country, you know, your rights can be taken away like that. I've always wanted to study law um, ever since I was young. It became something that I have to do when the law stopped me from living my full potential. And so what better place to do that than SOAS? When I saw the appeal from SOAS, I realised I couldn't give very much money, but I did have this room. I was quite doubtful, really, whether this would suit me because I really like living alone, but I thought I'd try it as an experiment. You know, how bad can a year be? What's the worst that could happen? So this is the most exciting thing. These are the bits that you can eat. And they were this small. I literally, I can't believe how big they are. I noticed how by the time I wake up, Caroline would have done about 10 million things. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna start waking up early, take a page out of Caroline's book. And you know, the garden is so beautiful. So I thought, what a perfect place to just wake up and stretch and just be so inspired and ready for the day. I've literally lived here my whole life. I don't know anything else. Yes. I always thought I was British. I was really surprised to find out that someone could have lived in the UK for as long as Michelle and still not be able to access student finance. My father was a refugee. He came to this country when he was 12. My father's brilliant career was only made possible by so many people helping him. And so I've always felt a particular responsibility to help refugees. I think that SOAS provides a wonderful place where we can meet people who are different from us and find out that actually, in many ways, they're just the same. There's so many friends that I never told that I was undocumented about my situation because you just don't know who's going to look at you like a criminal or just not even see you like a human being. I think what SOAS did for me is that it gave me hope and it's more than just money, it's knowing that there's people out there who actually care. They think that you deserve the right to education and this small thing really makes a difference in so many people's lives.